touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. Shut up. I've, I think I've done something wrong. My mouth, it can't slip. My face is on the tiny. Yes, I'm here no more, right? Serious? Yes. <laughs> gang, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Akafi. For today's video, guys, I'm gonna be eating Nigerian food for 24 hours, and also I'm gonna be making my own jollof rice, chicken, and plantain. So before we get this video started, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe down below, and if you haven't turned your notification bell on, make sure you click the notification bell so you know every time I upload. So let's go. Some of you people are already at the back. Leave us alone, I beg. <laughs> are you serious? I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it, I don't. Be quiet. I don't wanna hear it. Uff. Okay, so before we start this video, guys, I just wanna say that, as some of you guys know that I've done a video where I was trying Nigerian food for the first time, and I've ate a gusu, and I've, you know, it was not my favorite, I didn't like it, and I ended up posting a clip of it on TikTok, and a lot of people got offended, a lot of people got upset over it um, when I posted the video on TikTok, and they thought I was disrespecting Nigerian culture, they thought I was, I said something about disgusting, I never said that in the video, I never disrespect the Nigerian culture, so to those people, I just want to say that I genuinely, genuinely I apologize to you guys. I never, I don't want to offend anybody. I don't want to upset anybody. I'm a very, <laughs> I mean, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm a not serious person. So if you felt like my video was being, like, my, if, if you felt like my video was being offensive, I genuinely apologize. But please go watch the whole video. I was excited to try it, and I'm still excited to try Nigerian food today. Um, so. Um, I'm gonna be going out and I'm gonna be buying recipe for the jollof rice So I'm gonna be making my own jollof rice and I'm gonna be making my own chicken cook my own plantain And I'm gonna do mukbang later on so let's go guys. I can't wait to buy the food Okay guys, so I'm in my car right now. I'm super super excited um, I'm going to my local shopping uh, supermarket. I'm gonna buy the ingredients I'm so 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 excited to be trying um, and making my own not trying I'm so excited to be making my own jollof rice. I know there's a massive debate in the African culture. Whose jollof rice is better? Nigerian, Ghanaian, uh, z what's the other one? West Africa, shout out to you guys. Guys, so right now I'm at the store. Um, I'm trying to buy the ingredients to cook the jollof rice. Um, so I've got a couple of the ingredients, as you can see here. A um, few of the ingredients. And I'm also trying to find a few other things. Um, so I can cook this jollof rice. Uh, hopefully it comes out good. It's gonna come out good. Are you serious? Shout out to my Nigerians. Let go. Stand up. <laughs> Shout out to my Nigerians. Niger! Stand up. Are you serious? Nigeria! Ah! Guys, so here are all the things that I've gotten. Seasonings, tomatoes. Yeah. Guys, I am back and now it's time to cook the jollof rice. I'm gonna make the jollof rice and then I'm also gonna cook the chicken and then I'm also gonna cook the plantain. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. This is my first time doing it. Um, don't judge. Let's not judge. Let's be kind. We make mistakes. If I make mistake, I make mistake. I don't want hair it. I don't. Okay, but no, let me show you the seasoning. Guys, here are all my seasoning, um, and then all the things that I'm gonna be cooking the jollof rice with. Um, I've got chicken stock there, I've got a onion, and then these are the seasoning. I'm gonna cut it off, and then I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, you guys, so I've got my rice here. Um, I'm only using one cup of rice. I'm only cooking it for myself, um, trying it out. So what you have to do is you have to wash your rice because I know some, some, some people don't wash their rice. I'm judging, okay? Let me wash my rice.
so my rice is now cooking. I'm gonna cut up the plantain and get the chicken ready to um, What am I gonna do with the chicken? I have no idea. What am I gonna do with the chicken? I have no idea guys um, I hope this turns out good. I hope the jollof rice comes out. I hope so. I've, I think I've done something wrong I think I've done but anyway um, I'm gonna basically cut up the plantain now and then I'm gonna get my chicken ready and then I'm gonna cook my chicken and I'll come back to you guys. As you can see, you have to wash the chicken, okay? Guys, so this is the plantain. I feel like the one I bought was very green. I think it wasn't cooked. So I might have to buy another one because it's very hard, as you can see. What the hell? Guys, I've washed my hand, so I was gonna eat, I was gonna eat with plantain. I'm gonna eat with banana. I'm gonna remix it because I love plantain, but like I prefer banana, so I'm gonna eat banana with it. And also, this is how I've made it. If you guys can see, I've basically cooked the chicken. Instead of eating it with a spoon, I'm gonna. Do you know what? Let me be. Let me be African. Okay, we squeeze the lime, as you guys can see. And then we've got our banana because a lot of people are like, oh my god, do you eat banana with everything? Yes, I do. Okay, and then I've got my salad. Let me taste it because I haven't even tasted it. Hold on. So we've got our jollof rice. So I'm hem. Immaculous. In it's unstoppable. Mm mm. This is what I'm talking about. Are you serious? Shout out to my Nigerians. By the way, guys, I really hope I've cooked the um, the jollof rice proper. I hope I've cooked it right. Um, so this is what it's looking like. Oh my god, the food. Do you know that's how you know the food is good when it makes you sweat. If you don't sweat while eating food, the food is not good. It's not. Now why did I add a leaf? Why did I add a leaf? I tried to be special. Are you serious? But now it adds a flavor to it. It adds some sort of like extra thing. Um, I've got my ketchup. We add ketchup. By the way guys, I was gonna cook the chicken with the jollof rice because I thought, you know, um, let me cook it with it. But then I was like, you know what? Let me try cooking it separate. Um, the only thing, the only thing is that I feel like I haven't cooked the jollof rice. What is it called? I haven't cooked the jollof rice, right? I don't know why, but I'm getting some sort of different vibe. But it does. It's very similar to the Nigerian um, jollof rice that I ate last time. Right, 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 right. It does. It's very similar. By the way, guys, in the Somali culture, we've got similar thing to jollof rice. Um, we cook it our way. It's called um, we call it. What do we call it in Somali? Brisu is kukaris. So in the Somali culture, we add the the chicken, the um, the meat inside the rice, um, like similar to jollof rice. We call it brisu kukaris. So it's very similar. Like do you know what I mean? Like the like the African culture is very similar. And I know there's a people at the back debating which jollof rice is the best. Somali jollof rice is the best. Sorry, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me trying to start some drama. By the way, guys, I am sorry. No, but we call it. Um, 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 we call it.
the white man is not going to pick you. The white man is not going to choose you. It's not. I mean, you know, with my hands, what about it? I don't want to hear it. There's only one th there's only two things missing from this food, and that's plantain. I didn't want to eat it with plantain. And another thing is Fanta. And no my Africans. My West Africans, my Africans, East, South, North, all my Africans. I know you guys love your Fanta. I know you guys love Fanta. That's the only thing that's missing, Fanta. A cold Fanta. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. I am obsessed. Shout out to my Nigerians. I've actually cooked my own um, jollof rice and it's actually really good. Um, maybe Nigerians like um, will cook it differently. Maybe they do their own remix, they, they do their own thing. But hopefully one day a Nigerian will cook it for me. But do you know the next, next time I need to cook fufu? I need to cook yam, I need to cook fufu. Hmm, I need to do that. But yeah, um, I hope I passed the challenge. I hope I've succeeded the challenge. I've tried my best. Um, I've made my kind of jollof rice. Are you serious? I know, okay, I, I, guys, okay, let me know if I've done it right. Let me know if I've done it right. If I need to do it better, please comment down below. Let me know what I haven't done, like, you know what I mean? Like what season I haven't used and stuff like that. Please let me know so I know better next time. Um, but I hope I've done the 24 hours challenge great i hope i've done <laughs> so that's it for this video i hope you guys have liked this video if you did like this video make sure you give this video a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe down below and if you haven't turned your notification bell on make sure you click your notification bell so you know every time i upload so see you next time